Namaste and welcome to day three of the Ready Steady Shimmy Challenge. I'm having an amazing time watching the video submissions that are flooding us on Instagram. It's so wonderful to see each of you deepening into your belly dance journeys, plunging into the shimmies and really giving it your best. It is such an honest pleasure to be able to witness each one of you enjoying the moment, enjoying the movements, enjoying the combo and enjoying your own bodies as you express yourself through the shimmies. Remember, we have Ready Study Shimmy 1, 2 and 3 available in a bundle pack on studiobanjara.com that you can go and avail at a discounted price all through February from the 1st to the 28th. Now, let's move into combo number 3, today's combo. It's going to get a little bit more challenging. Now, since this is a challenge, it's clear by now that I am not breaking down techniques as I would for a format level class or, or maybe say a choreography class. This is a challenge. And everybody's meeting the challenge at the level that they're at. So I'm not trying to simplify this. It is what it is. And of course, depending on where you are as, as a dancer in the level that you're at currently, you're gonna be able to access it with <clears throat> that much smoothness, with that much more ease. That being said, many times the underdog works really hard and pushes forward. So don't take it for granted that you have good technique and you're going to be able to get it all or you have experience. Sometimes those who really are determined and committed are able to go much quicker in their journey of empowering their shimmies over time. So let's just get into it. Combo number three for day three. Super. So. For those of you who know what a horse step is, it's a movement that goes to the side, something like this, right? We are going to do like a variation. And these techniques are called differently across different schools of thought, different, um, you know, philosophies of belly dance or different ways or where it's originating from or the school that it's being taught in. So don't get too caught up on the names, okay? The movement is simply this. We're doing a two-step to the side while we create an inward vertical eight while moving to the side. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so if you've seen this undulatory eight, vertical eight inward movement, just focus on getting that movement with the two steps. You're stepping right foot as the left hip is creating that undulation out to in, to come onto the side that we're traveling on. So one, two, three, four. Now let's see if we can do it to the other side. One, two, three, four. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. The other side. One, two, three, four. The other side. One, two, three, four. The other side. One, two, three, four. All right. If you feel like at any point of time you're getting stuck, I would suggest pause the video, get into that technique and make sure that you've absorbed it first before you move on to the next thing. Okay. So we have that. Now, what we're going to be doing is understanding the arms. The arms are going to go, adding a little bit of an old school charm. So we're going with our hands. On one, they face you inwards. One, two, out, and. 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 Out and so it's just adding a little bit of variation to your movement with these new arms and a little bit of that old school charm. Okay, so while I'm going to do this, since this is a shimmy combo, mm, this is where it gets tricky. So I'm going to go out with the shimmy in, out with the shimmy in, out with the shimmy in, out with the shimmy in. Okay, so remember, I'm still focusing on the Egyptian knee shimmy and I'm making sure that I'm working with both my knees at the same time. I'm not halting one knee and moving the other. Okay, so let's try this. One, trrrrak, two, trrrrak, one, trrrrak, two, trrrrak, one, trrrrak, two, trrrrak, one, trrrrak, two, trrrrak. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, go. One, trrrrak, two, trrrrak, one, trrrrak, two, trrrrak. All right. 
So I'm not going to be combining the right side and the left together. Instead, there's going to be something else in the middle. But like each day's combo, this is going to be repeated right and left. Okay? You kind of got the feel of it by now. Um, what it feels like to do it on both sides because we want to find a balance in our movements between both hemispheres of our body. So we're going one track, two track. So my left is free and I'm going to go step left, front leg, step right. And as I step, I'm going to glide shimmy to the side. Glide shimmy to the side, step the other one, glide shimmy to the side. While I do snake arms. Truck on the left, truck on the right. So same side glide hip, same arm creates that undulation or that wave in the arm. Okay, so let's try it again. One truck, two truck. Shimmy to the side, step the foot. Now step the other foot. Shimmy glide to the side while you go up with the right arm. And from here, as I go truck, truck. I get my palms to face up to the sky and create chest roll, chest roll. Ah, it's starting to get a little bit challenging, isn't it? All right, let's go. Let's try again. Five, six, seven, go. One, track, two, track. Here, pa, chest circle, chest circle. Now let's take in the other direction. So that's your combo on the right. Let's take the combo to the left. One, track, two, track, shimmy, shimmy, palms facing up, chest circle goes right to left, right to left. So you want to have strong movement both from the direction of left to right as well as right to left. Let's try this combo again. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 All right, so let's listen to this with music. So it's a little quick, okay? Five, six, so this is your speed. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's your speed. If you feel like that's a little bit too fast for you, so maybe, maybe what I can do is I can start by playing something that's a little bit slower so that you're able to get in. Okay. Let's try it with something a little bit slow. Okay, so just a skeleton and then we'll pick up the pace. Slow. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that speed worked out pretty well, actually. The speed worked out pretty well. It turned out to be not too fast, not too slow, but the piece before it was definitely much faster. Um, I would suggest practicing the same patterns slower as well as faster, but I think this is a good pace for us for now. So, once again, I'm going to break down understanding the footwork. Might make it a little bit simpler, might, you know, lighten some bulb. So let's just try it again. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So footwork was right step, left comes in, right step, left comes in. Left step, right step, left is free, chest circle left to right, left to right. Left and right, left and right, right steps forward, left steps back, right is free, chest circle right to left, right to left. 
All right, let's do it with music once again before we sign off for the day. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, super stuff. Well done, everybody. I know it's not easy and it's only going to get more challenging. It is, after all, the Ready Steady Shimmy Challenge. So let's pick up the pace. Let's get into it deeper. We're at day three, you know. Drill it nicely. And I'm looking forward to your video submissions, doing this one especially because it's so elegant, it has a little bit of that old school charm and it's really challenging when it comes to using your feet and the different dimensions to add your shimmies. Just keep dancing, really looking forward to your videos. See you tomorrow.